What's up everyone? I'm Lala Zimski. Today we are visiting Il Gradino, an Italian restaurant on Lexington Avenue between 62nd and 63rd. Just checking out this beautiful veggie scape in the front. I can't wait to go inside. Let's check it out. Getting that Maillard reaction on there, you know, that sear. That's going to be the basis of the sauce. So, the flour. Okay. so he's prepping the veg. That's not going to take a very long time. He's got some stock in there. He's turned the heat down. He's reducing that down to get a really nice, thick, luscious stock that's just going to coat the veg and the chicken. And if I get to eat this, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Is there anything that isn't better by adding cheese? I get very excited, like very excited. <laughs> Jars of pasta, I make, I make a good pasta, you know, the, 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 the fettuccine, fettuccine, the rough fettuccine. That is a lot of crab meat! <laughs> no, it looks like that. Very excited. <laughs> Tomatoes have reduced down in that sauce of wine and garlic and olive oil, and I just I can smell it. Get excited because I watched him prepare this for you, and it looks amazing. Beautiful. I mean, hello. Amazing, right? This is where the people at home need smell a vision because, ugh. <laughs> Succulent, fabulous. Comments, Comments amazing. While you're shoving it in your mouth, as you should. Any other comments about? Amazing. Or should I just Everyone leave you alone? Everyone should be having this. It's one of their best meals here. So you've had this before? Yes. And this is your favorite? Yes. This is your go-to every time? This pulls me in the door. There we go. And this is called the what? The chicken... Il Gardino? Is yes. that what's called? Yes. Okay. You heard it. It's their favorite. This gets them in the door every time. This is your go-to. The chicken Il Gardino, just like the name of the restaurant. It's the house specialty. You must order it. Fabulous. I'm here with the owner. This is Diego. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm very well. I have many, many questions for you. Sure, go ahead. So this is your baby. This is your restaurant. Yes. How long ago did you open this restaurant? Well, we opened up uh, four months ago and we opened up May the 8th. Congratulations. Thank you. That's amazing. And you're originally from Ecuador, is that correct? I'm originally from Ecuador. Okay, and so how did you come about to open an Italian restaurant? Well, since I came into this country in 1982, at that time I was 15 and a half. I started working in 1987 in an Italian restaurant, and I always like to work in Italian restaurants because my family immigrated to this country in 1970. My father, rest in peace, he was a chef, so oh, he's so teaching cool. me. He's also, okay. He said, no, we have to work in a restaurant. I said, fine, we came to this country to work it. And I started as a dishwasher in downtown a long time ago. Then um, I liked the kitchen, but I wasn't that happy in the kitchen. So I always to be, want to be in the dining room. So when I told my dad, I said, dad, I don't like the kitchen. 
to say, what are you going to do? When you come into this country, you have to start from the bottle, I say, this wash it, this and that, this and that. I say, fine. I don't mind to do this washing, but I also want to be something else. So I told him, send me to the school to learn English, because that's the first thing you need to do in this country, to learn a little bit of English. Then he sent me to school for six months, then I started a school, then I found a job like three, four days uh, a week and as a busboy. worked your way up from uh, busboy to all different jobs in the restaurant. All so the restaurant jobs. industry is in your blood since your father was a Cynthia. chef. Cynthia. So you've been yes, in the restaurant forever. So country. you feel at home in a restaurant. I've been a long time and I always like Italian food and I always like to see what people do. I always like to learn too because I say one day I would love to be like them. So Il Gradino, is it... Is there a specialty here? Is it from a certain region of Italy? How would you describe it? Well, you know, I'm not from Italy, so when I've always, always been doing Italian restaurant work. I say one day, one day I'm going to open up a restaurant. So I couldn't have it, no, you know, chance to open up years ago. There was many chances people offered me to manage the restaurant, but not in New York. So when I came to this country, I started in New York, and I always loved New York. I said, from New York, I'm not going to move. Because I love New York, I said, if you want to have a business one day, it's going to be in New York. So there was two years ago, somebody offered me a chance to open up a restaurant. I said, fine, no problem. And I have a very good experience in the restaurant. I work in one of the places that I'm running here for 30 years. So now, so I know how to manage the restaurant. Then I said, okay, let's do it. And we did it. And you did it. Is it everything that you dreamed of? All my dreams came in through <laughs> after so many years. I love the vibe of the place. It feels like, especially when you see the vegetables in the front, you think, oh, everything's going to be so fresh and local and delicious. And then you come in and the dining room, is, it's got that perfect mix of like upscale dining, but also like really lovely, cozy neighborhood restaurants. Well, that's what I, I learned, you know, putting some uh, stuff where people can see where we have it. So I learned that in one of the places that I work in downtown. So and I see the guy, the way he was doing the decoration every day, the buffet, the display, putting fresh stuff, and that's what I'm doing here too. Well, yeah, it's amazing because so, you've got people stopping and taking photos of that. I know, a lot of people, they that. stop that's and like, take a picture. That's like their Instagram moment, This also, you know, you know depends on the season, when the season for the pitch, I put a pitch. With the mushrooms, always mushrooms in there, Absolutely. the cherry tomatoes, the eggplant, parmigiano, it's a prosciutto, great way to focus all Jesus. these kind of things from it. And it's truffle season now, right? Yeah, now is the truffle season. Today is the first one Ooh. that I got it. So I get, I tonight we're going to have a truffle with the pasta, we can do truffle with risotto, we can do also truffle with the scrambled eggs, we can do tagliata, which is the filet mignon, a little bit sear with the truffle, which I've done. So that brings me to the next point. I, I saw when I was doing research on your restaurant that you focus on doing it the customer's way. Tell me a little bit more about that. You'll basically make whatever they want? Well, that's what I learned for most of the restaurants that I worked before when the customer goes. Is you tell them the specials or they see the menu, the things that they like that is not in the menu and not even the capital mentioned. So if they ask me to do something that is not in the menu, not in the special, we make it. Because easy things to do it. With Italian food you can play around a lot of things, especially with pasta with the sauces, with chicken, with veal, you can do a lot of good things that, and you make everybody happy. That's it's amazing not like most of other restaurants you go, they say, oh no, let's say you, you make me chicken piccata. No, I'm sorry, we don't make it. So you make it a little bit uncomfortable with the, to the customer that way. So we are, we are here to take care of the people, make everybody happy. That's amazing hospitality. Let's get a trouble shot, shall we? You've heard about the money shot? Here it is. Look at those truffles. $2,500 a pound. That's why truffles are so expensive. There you go, Bella. This is the most fun part. I'm very excited. We watched this being made. It smells amazing. And you make your pasta in-house, the fettuccine, correct? The chef makes the pasta. He makes all the kind of pastas. We make fettuccine, black linguine regular fettuccine, pappardelle, he makes different kind of raviolis, salmon ravioli, lobster ravioli, he makes the beef ravioli, we also make the porcini motion ravioli. Now we have to make the porcini motion ravioli because the start of the season for white truffles. And the best way to have also the truffles is with the porcini motion ravioli, 
we do anyway the one is either with a light cream sauce or we do also with olive oil or we can do also with butter or we can do also with risotto so many options they will do it the way you want it i have to i have i'm, I'm salivating go so. ahead try it. <laughs> enjoy it thank you this is also huge i want to get the perfect bite of all the things the crab and the shrimp oh. Oh my God, ready? Because I'm very, I'm a very messy eater. Everything works so well together. You get the garlic and that little touch of red chili flakes in the sauce. The shrimp, the crab, the tomatoes are perfectly roasted down. It's a beautiful dish. Swoon. Thank you so much. Thank this you. is beautiful. I'm gonna be silent and finish this. Okay. Take your time. <laughs> gives a wonderful flavor to the pasta. The arugula gives it a really nice peppery, yeah. peppery kick to it and just a freshness into this pasta. Beautiful. It's, del it's delightful. I'm very happy. Wonderful. Happy dance. <laughs> it's kind of blasphemous that I'm sitting here without a glass of wine. So for this pasta, what, what wine would you recommend? Well, I like, you know, I want you to try some of my favorite wine. We have a nice Pinot Grigio that goes perfect with the pasta. It's a Livio Peluga Pinot Grigio. It's one of the wonderful Pinot Grigios that we have in the wine list. I adore Pinot Grigio. Is most of your wine list from Italy? Most of them is from Italy and some of them is from California. Okay. And also, I heard that you make your own limoncello here in house. Is that true? I do my own limoncello. I've been doing limoncello for the last 30 years since I was working in another place. So there was one person, on, he was nice. Can I and have he's some? Still nice. <laughs> this is one of the wonderful Pinot Grigio from Italy. And I love it and I want you to try it and have it with the pasta. Absolutely, I'll take your recommendation. Thank you so much. Right. See how you like it. Amazing. Oh, great note. That is a perfect seafood pasta wine. Perfect. Very crisp. Yes, please. Thank you so much. That's perfect. Thank you. Oh my god. Salute. Okay. Salute. Cheers. Mm. Old glass of white and a seafood pasta. The perfect afternoon lunch here on the Upper East Side. If you don't get it all over your face, are you even eating? So you always serve limoncello in a nice chill glass. Because limoncello has to be served cold. And the way we keep the limoncello is nice and cold and the Okay. Can you tell me what goes into this limoncello? Obviously lemons. Well, it goes lemon, but I can tell you everything. Just, just. That's part of the secret. That's it. Okay, that's, that's all what I get. That's what teaching me, and that's what I'm gonna keep for myself. Got it. Salud. Thank you. It smells like the freshest, most beautiful. Oh God. Ooh. Okay. Here's what I love about this. It is not too sweet like some limoncellos can be, and it is not too tart. The balance of this limoncello is perfect. You nailed it. Is my happy place but particularly <laughs> dessert so this is the cheesecake it comes with fresh berries some fresh whipped cream and uh, some sort of berry coolie situation it looks like I want to get big on the perfect bite right so drag it through that sauce cheesecake tends to be heavy and sort of a gut bomb but this I think there's ricotta in there and it's super light and it doesn't taste like your typical cheesecake it's airy and it's light and it's delicious and if you come here you should finish your meal with this cheesecake so what do you think about the cheesecake I think that it's kind of the perfect cheesecake I love that you use ricotta in there yeah we use the ricotta this is not you know heavy in the ricotta right. it makes very very light and people love us. Our chef, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's a lot. We also make the tiramisu. We make the profiteroles. Well, we this make is... the Napoleon. We make a lot, a lot of desserts down there. I'm sure they're all delicious, but I'm going to finish this Please, whole thing. After I already thought I was full. We have plenty in the kitchen. You can have more. <laughs>
don't tempt me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Prego. My pleasure. Really it was grateful. nice to have you guys here. Yes. Anytime. Diego. Thank Bill you. Gardino. What else can I say? For Flavors of New York, I'm Lala Zimsky. Thanks.